Hi everyone, this is a quick video just to show you my process of cross-posting eBay listings to Depop and Etsy. So the first thing I do is bring up my item on eBay and then I go into the Depop app and go to add item, select my photos, and then add the photos. Then I go back into the eBay app and I copy the title that I've already written and I add that. Now Depop generally don't have titles, they just have a description box. So I then go back in and I add the item description, copy that across. And on my Depop listing, I add that just above where I've copied and pasted the title. So what I then do with the title that I've copied across is I use all the keywords or key phrases that I've had in my title as the hashtags um, which are searchable within Depop. So as you can see, I've hashtagged red coat and tiered ruffles, which are things that people might search for um, when looking for items on Depop. Then I go across and select the category. For some reason, they don't just have a category for regular coats. Um, so I struggled with this one a little bit. In the end, I went with other. And then selecting a brand, Per Una doesn't come up. So instead, I selected Marks and Spencers, which does come up and is selectable. And then I added the size. And then my item price. And we're good to go. It's as easy and as simple as that. So next I'll show you what I do with the vintage items that I list. I cross post them onto Depop first. I'm going through exactly the same process that I've just shown you. And then I head across to the Etsy app. So here I go to add new item. It's made by another company or person. It's a finished product. And this particular dress was made in the 1960s, so I would select that. I put it in clothing, women's clothing, dresses, and then I go to add photos. Now with Depop, you can only add four photos, which is really quite frustrating. Um, so I tend to add a couple of key photos, and then I go across to the layout app and I make a collage using the rest of the images um, or a couple of collages. But with Etsy, luckily they give you lots and lots of photos that you can use, so um, I never manage to use them all. And then I do the same thing. I copy across the description, I copy across the title. Select a delivery option. I already have some pre-filled, so I choose the one that's relevant for that item. I will ask you for a renewal option and always choose automatic because then you don't have to think about renewing it each time or it doesn't get lost in your unlisted items. And then here you get the chance to add tags and tags are like the keywords um, that you would add in eBay. They're like um, searchable phrases or searchable words that people would use to look for an item like yours. So try to use as many as possible. Um, if you can use 12, all well and good. So 
So try to use as many as possible. Think about all of the search terms that people would use if they were looking for your item or if you were looking for an item like yours, what would you search and then use those as your tags. Then it asks for a shop section. I've already pre-filled mine so I choose vintage clothing. I'm going to add the size and then here I'm adding colour. It gives you two options. With the dress style, I couldn't find anything here that actually related to the dress that I had or that I was listing, um, so I left that blank. For clothing style, uh, mod is about the closest I could use to describe the dress I've got, as it's a 60s dress. And then these are the options they give you for patterns. And here I decided that probably the closest pattern was abstract, so I selected that. So then you see that I selected crew neck, and for silhouette it was a shift dress, so I selected that. The hem length was knee length. It's a sleeveless dress. There are no pockets. And I generally leave occasion and celebration blank. It's a bit more long-winded with Etsy. There's a lot more to fill out. It's quite similar to eBay in that way. Um, but of course, if you're, cro you're cross-listing and you're just copying across your listing from eBay, it is a lot quicker than starting a brand new listing. And there's my finished listing. So I wanted to show you what you can do with your Depop listings. You can share them over to your social media platforms and um, share your listings in a wider capacity and to a wider audience. So you have the option to share to Instagram. You can add it to your feed. Um, here you would write a caption and then click share and it would add, be added to your grid. Then you can also select Facebook and you can share it across to your Facebook feed. Again, you can just add a quick description to let people know what it is. You also have the option to share to Twitter. At this point you'll see I haven't actually authorised my Twitter account to talk to my Depop account, so I did it here. Um, but then it also asks you to sign in and for the purposes of this video I, I didn't do that but um, that's what you can do, you can just authorise your app to speak to Depop and sign in and then you can just post across to Twitter and lastly you can also add your listings to your Instagram stories so you would just click Instagram stories and then add some kind of a caption, post it across and it will be added to your stories. So I hope this video has been useful for you um, and interesting in some way. I've been asked a few times um, to share my process on how I list on other platforms. Um, so I thought, you know, I put it together a, just a quick visual description on how I do that. As you can see, Depop is really quick to list on. Um, there's not a lot to fill out and you can be posting listings within seconds uh, if you're copying across. Uh, if you're adding brand new listings, again, just really, really quick, just a few clicks, adding some photos and you're done. Etsy is a bit longer to list and it's a bit more fiddly. But as I say, when you're copying across your information, it doesn't take as long. And it's definitely worth doing. I get some really nice sales on Etsy. 
So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up because it does help to support our channel. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, then please subscribe if you're not already. And see you again very soon in another video. Bye for now.